Uh, I try to come down every day. Um, I there I can't come down part of the week because I babysit uh, for my grandchildren. But I try to get down here at least for a couple of hours every day. Um, partly because it is so inspiring and it really lifts my spirits. Um, ask me a question. Um, what do you uh, What do you hope to see happen through this movement politically? Politically, well, uh, I'll start with why I'm coming. Uh, I'm very excited to be here because uh, my group, the Grammy Peace Brigade, has been, uh, for many years, has been marching and working um, for anti-war work um, and domestic and international peace work. And when we've marched, we've wondered where the young people were. And so we are here, we're here in solidarity and in support uh, with and of the young people who have begun this incredible grassroots movement. Um, it is a privilege to be with them. Uh, they have embraced everyone, regardless of gender, of how much money they have, of their ages. They've just embraced everyone in this incredible movement uh, to bring education to the people who pass through here and who see all of us marching. And I think that education is a thing that has been so lacking because Americans historically have been conditioned not to think and not to understand what the issues are. And these young people have brought to the fore what the reality is in this country, uh, where the center of power is, and what the issues are and what has to be done to change it. What I hope comes from this movement is simply that it grows. Because there's no single message here. In the past when we had uh, marches and we were fighting for issues, there were usually single issues. The Vietnam War was a single issue. The Republican National Convention, it was a single issue about the election. This brings all the various issues that have to do with power and money and greed together so that people can understand that everything is connected.